Oh, I didn't notice you there. Welcome to the top 12 reasons why I failed the AP exam. Some of you might think that you did well, but let's be honest, you failed. Now, I'm sure several of the reasons on this list apply to you. For those of you who <clears throat> didn't take it, the only one you'll appreciate is number 12. Number 12, I didn't take the AP exam. <laughs> Okay then, number 11 is all my pencils broke in the test. I was just filling in bubbles when all of a sudden my pencil broke just like this. I don't get why I can't use mechanical pencils on the test. It doesn't make, doesn't make any sense. Well, if college board tests are better, then they obviously must be better because college board is always wrong. Yeah, we know. Now, number 10 is volume of revolution. I got a one on the test and I was hoping it wouldn't be on the AP exam. But, you know, that didn't happen. Great logic, David. I'm pretty sure I literally heard Miss Nellwolf talk to you after that test. I'm pretty sure I literally heard Miss Nellwolf to tell you to take the AP exam. Coming in at number 9 is unit circle and trig rule crap. I thought I memorized the unit circle the night before, but when I tried to remember it during the exam, nothing came to me. We were supposed to learn the trig rules in Algebra 2 and Pre-Calc, but yeah, that didn't happen. Soka Toa didn't Soka help me at all. Nice see all the pun silence. Anyway, number 8 is I forgot to study. Golf matches, make up school work, studying for other classes. I just completely forgot about studying till the night before, and then I fell asleep five minutes after looking at my notes. SPS. You didn't even take the exam. Ooh. Number seven was that I had to go four hours and 37 minutes without checking my phone. I was snapping my bays and checking my Twitter and Instagram when the proctor told me to put it in my locker. So. I had to put that in my locker, and so that's all the time it was to take my test. Oh please, how did that make it to this list? Number six is I fell asleep during the exam. Let's be honest, filling out bubbles and writing answers for FRQs is about as fun as scraping your head against a cheese grater. So after about ten minutes, uh, I, I completely tuned out. See, so yeah, I only did, did one. <laughs> so yeah, I only I only did one of them. Okay, we both know that the only reason you did only one of for cues is because you didn't know how to do any of them. Not because you're bored, Silas. What are you talking about? I got a two on the final thank you, so I obviously know my stuff. Okay, let's move on. Number five is that it took me half the time to put all, peel all the seals off the non-calculator for cues. I get why they sealed them off, but that was just ridiculous. I get so frustrated, I ripped them apart and tore the page off my entire problem. <laughs> Number four is that I put all my calculators in degrees, even though Ms. Nelf told us for the past two weeks to put our calculators in radians. That's a freshman mistake. What? You can't say it. Yeah, come on, David. Just accept it. Sounds right. Number three is the FRQ sucked. Even if I wouldn't have fallen asleep, I still would have had no clue how to do them. Not gonna lie, I was drawing a smiley face on the back of a page when I fell asleep. It was bad. Come on, Silas. You and I did better than that. Coming in at number two was the room was freezing. The day of the exam was the coldest day we had in two weeks, so obviously it was a perfect day to turn on the air conditioning for the first time since September. Really been no schools, I was wearing two sweatshirts and still almost froze. And at number one, can I get a drum roll? Ask. Number one is I forgot my baby. Yes, we learned the chain rule at the beginning of the year, and yes, Mrs. Nellwolf literally told us about 500 times not to get our baby. But of course, I still did. <laughs> that was our number one. That's really lame. Ask? Didn't we agree that you weren't allowed to talk? Well, there you have it. It's how the total reasons why we failed the AP exam. So save yourself 91 bucks and don't take it. Great logic, David. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Great logic. <laughs> Great logic, David. I'm pretty sure I literally saw Miss Nellwolf come into the <laughs> Go. Great logic, David. I'm pretty sure I literally saw Miss Nellwolf talk to you after that test. I'm pretty sure I literally. Great logic, David. I'm pretty sure I heard Miss Nellwolf come and talk to you.